YouTube family, my junk family, junk entrepreneurs. What up, though, is Mr. AMG. I'm not sure what's going on sometimes with people out here, man, but, um, yeah, it stops here with me. Um, had someone call me up, man, and they were just laying it on me, man, about how I supposedly scheduled them a dumpster for the day that they called me at this particular time. And I was like, blown away, like, wait a minute, man. I had to tell them to, you know, pump the brakes a little bit. Are you sure you got the right company? Because I get this, I, I get this from people all the time where they think they call one company and they end up contacting me and then they end up getting all you know, I rate over the phone with me like I, I did something to them and it's not even me. But this guy was adamant that it was me. And it was an out of town phone number from Florida. Um, so I know out of town numbers. I have a pretty good memory of who I talk to. I'm a man of my word. Um, if I say I'm going to deliver, I deliver. There's no question about it. Um, furthermore, no one makes it to the schedule without actually without a payment without confirmation of payment over here so I had to explain that to him and he just still kept going off and well can I get a dumpster right now and this and that and even if I had a dumpster available I wouldn't have took it over there to him now I'm gonna tell you why I wouldn't have took it over there to him. This is why, and I spoke on this in previous videos that all money ain't good money. So you gotta be careful and be mindful out there. Don't don't let them few don't let them few dollars, you know, cost you uh, way more, such as your energy being drained, man. Because number one, the guy don't know who he spoke to. All right, he think he spoke to me, so that's a red flag right there. Now I get my dumpster over there. Let's just say it's something else going on. He's already seeming like the type of person that you can't win with him. His attitude is through the roof, all right? And I don't want to be pulled out of my out of my realm. So I'll avoid that, you know? I'll save myself. I'll save myself. I don't need the money. Um, you know, so I still wouldn't have delivered due to the fact that it could have, I felt like even if I would have had one, it would have been some more stuff that came with it, you know, and it ultimately, it ain't worth it for me, man. I I, I don't, I have been around the block a few times, all right, so I already know what I can expect, you know, pretty much uh, when I'm dealing with somebody and just from the conversation that we have, man, and if the, if the energy level don't meet my energy level, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to, it's a hard pass for me. Um, but I'm not understanding why some people don't take the time to listen, to actually look and see if they're contacting the right people before they call and start getting on them about things. I'm not sure if it's part of a scam. I'm not sure what it is. But I had this happen a couple times, um, and not back to back. It's just, it has happened. I've experienced it since I have started doing doing this. Dumpster rental. I just can't put my finger on why. You know. Um, so message for anybody that's out there doing this. If you receive a phone call from somebody confusing. You know, who's confused about who they talk to. And, you know, their energy level is through the roof, man. And they're upset and... You're trying to talk to them and explain to them that it wasn't your company that they reached out to and they're not trying to hear it and they're like, well, anyway, that doesn't even matter. Can I get a dumpster today? You know, you get people like that, you might want to, you might want to uh, rethink that one. All right. That's just me. I go, I'm, I, I move based off of vibes. I'm an energy person. So that wasn't. That energy right there, it didn't have a good read on it. So I just avoided it. I don't want y'all to make them same mistakes too because, you know, who to say you get out there with this person, man, and, and, and they put something in there that's not supposed to be in there that you told them about, 
you know, they're they're going to argue you down, and there's no, you know, things can escalate with them type of people, you know, because some people have it already in their mind that they're right, autom they're right automatically. All right, so a person that's all automatically right, you can't win with them because they swore up and down they talked to you, they swore up and down you said you were going to deliver. And if it wasn't you and they're asking if you have a dumpster today and then you do show up with a dumpster, you probably more so just, you know, proving to them that, hey, it was you and you the one who forgot, you know, there was no reasoning right there. You know, now, had there been any reasoning, then things could have had things could have been different. Um. You know, even if I had a dumpster, things would have been different. I wouldn't have had any issue with getting a customer, a uh, potential customer, a dumpster because that's what my service is for. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here to just look at my dumpsters and, and drive them around empty. That's not what I'm in business for. So there was no reason. All right. So if you can't reason with a with a with a potential customer, if you don't see any reasoning. You know, because I I had a customer contact me months ago that the same thing happened. And I'm quick to tell them, you know, I looked at my schedule, I looked at my phone, and that was before I was, uh, I really had everything, you know, organized um, because I'm good with my memories. But now that I'm way more organized, it, it cuts out things like this because, you know, things do happen. There are times when scheduling conflicts can happen, but you made it to that person, the chances are that person made it to the schedule, payment was received, it'll be an error on my end where, you know, I put somebody in the wrong time slot. That's what happened, or what has happened prior, you know, and um, limit that much as possible now. That's that's gone. So when the person isn't even on my schedule and they're, they're you know, just being irate over the phone with me, yeah, I, that ain't that ain't for me. You know, I really take a hard pass on that. Um, so I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. If y'all out here, um, if you receive any phone calls, man, um, don't let these don't let these potential customers, man, rattle your energy. You know what I mean? Um, great way to make sure you don't have these type of problems is to make sure that you schedule people accordingly. All right. Um, However you choose to do so, whether you choose to get payment beforehand, whether you choose to get payment, you know, when you deliver or when you pick up, it's all on you how you choose to do it. But when you do schedule somebody, make sure you schedule them. That way you can easily identify whether or not that person has a valid claim on what they're speaking on. All right. I'm going to check y'all out on the next video, man. Y'all stay getting to it out there. All right. Peace.